There's one thing America does best. Build powerful front-engine rear-wheel drive performance cars. Currently, Ford builds two powerful and very quick performance Mustangs. In the first corner, you have the Mustang Shelby GT350R with 526 horsepower and 429 pound-foot of torque. On the other side, we have the Ford Mustang GT Performance Package. This vehicle comes with 460 horsepower and 420 pound-foot of torque. Both these cars are claimed to go 0-60 to 60 in a sub 4 second time frame. In this video, we're going to see which one is truly faster in the quarter mile in this standoff. As you can see, this is not a prep surface whatsoever. This is a road, which makes more sense testing a car like this because we're gonna get more realistic times. As you can see, we have the Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires. These things hook very well. This is the fastest Mustang GT in the straight line, in the quarter mile. So I'm pretty excited to see what it can do with a 10-speed automatic and magnetic ride. Let's go ahead and test it out. Where the 2018 Ford Mustang GT really shines is its 0-60 to 60 time. This car launches out of a dig unlike any other Mustang GT before. Using all the low-end torque you have in the 5.0 engine and the 10-speed automatic, this car just rips through all the gears in the quarter mile. For the best time, we found that revving to about 2,000 RPMs provided for the best launch in the quarter mile. This car is very fast and I'm completely happy with the results on a non-prepped surface. Let's go ahead and hop in the GT350R and see what it can do. The GT350R has a really tough time launching from a dig, and this is because the flat plane crankshaft makes all the power and torque way high in the RPMs. So to counter this, I keep the car in launch control and I rev all the way up to about 4000 RPMs, then release the clutch. Once you launch this car, you do feel like it's bogging out, and that's because, again, all the power is way up high in the RPMs. So that is a big disadvantage right there because this is a track vehicle. And the trade-off of putting a flat plane crank into this V8 motor is that you lose all the low-end torque which gets the car moving. However, this problem seems to fade away once you get the Mustang high into the RPM band. It simply out-accelerates the Mustang GT because it has more horsepower. In relative terms, 
both cars have their advantages. Mustang GT is much quicker out of a dig to the 60 mile per hour mark, but the Mustang Shelby GT350 can get to the quarter mile much quicker. There have been tons of tests out there on YouTube with both these cars together. This one features two completely stock cars. No drag radials were used in this test, only the completely stock rubber that comes with the car when you buy it straight from the dealership. Here we go guys, inside the GT350R. This is Ford's top performance Mustang you can buy right now. That's before the GT500 comes out. You realize this is not just a sports car, this is a purpose-built vehicle. And it's purpose-built just for the corners, which makes it an extremely fun driving experience. Here we go, we're going down this mountain right now in the GT350R. I gotta be honest, this is one nice vehicle. You don't feel that much body roll at all because the magnetic ride is so well damped. It feels like it's a planted vehicle and it's very confident and inspiring. Right now just cruising. That was a cop. That's another cop. <laughs> that is, that's pretty scary. So what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna turn this car into quiet mode. This is a feature that was first introduced in the Shelby Mustangs. You can buy this now in the new 2015, in the new 2018 Ford Mustangs, which is um, extremely useful. Honestly, the level of control you have in the Ford Shelby GT350R Mustang is beyond belief. I feel planted on all fours and it doesn't want to go anywhere in this car. It wants to stay within your control, not just that, taking these turns, driving on this road, you feel everything on the steering wheel, everything, even to the point where it'll start to tram line. But that's mainly because how wide the front tires we have in this car. But other than that, this is a vehicle, it's clear it's a performance car. It's, it's made to do really one thing and it completely succeeds at doing it. What I do know is that the 2018 Ford Mustang GT has magnetic ride as an option. What I don't know is how well it compares to this car. So I'm gonna go hop into that one and give you all my impressions. So I just got out of my GT350R. It feels like it's made to do this. Um, let's see how this 2018 Ford Mustang GT does. Definitely does pick up speed very quickly. Yeah, okay, this, this car is pretty fast. Uh, I will admit, 460 horsepower is a big step up over 435 that was available the previous year. And honestly, I really am having a lot of fun with it. But the automatic does do a fantastic job. It really does. If I want to accelerate, all I got to do is think about it, put my foot down, and I just go. That's why you have an automatic transmission. It makes the whole driving experience that much easier. When you're buying this car, you're buying a vehicle that's well-rounded that you can take anywhere to the drag strip, to the racetrack, and still daily drive it to work every single day. Both the Ford Mustang GT and Shelby GT350R are completely different rides, but nonetheless, they are extremely exciting and fun. Either way you choose, you won't go wrong. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to comment down below what you think. Also, smash that like button, that really helps this video. If you like this video and want to see more, make sure to subscribe to the Shelby Lifestyle, and I'll see y'all in the next video.